Hello and welcome back to Two Brunettes in Baltimore. I'm Lauren. And I'm Tara. Welcome back for another episode. We're Hello. back, baby! Oh, <laughs> I missed it! I missed it! Um, That's so funny. It is kind of crazy. We just basically had an entire podcast conversation that we wish we rec- could record and yep. share with you guys for the last like two hours. Yeah. But in that two hour time span, we got to get through a lot of like deep talks and everything. Yes. And catching up. But we also just bought SZA tickets. Yes! I'm so excited! <laughs> so she comes to Baltimore in September. And October? So, October? No, Wait, September. September. <laughs> what the? It is September. September. So we're going to go see her then. I'm so yeah. excited. Because we've been talking about buying these tickets yeah. for months. Or maybe... Yeah, yeah months. for months. And I was like, we just got to do it. we just got yeah, to do, do it. So that's literally crossing off one of our... Um, Summer bucket list items yep. of going to a concert and everything. Yes, it so, is. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, tell me about All your right. week. No, tell me about the Bahamas. Oh my god. Okay. okay, so the trip was the Bahamas. Yes, the it, surprise it ended up trip. being the Bahamas. And I, like I said in the last episode, Katiri said, "No, it's not the Bahamas," <laughs> and it ended up being the Bahamas. I found out right at the airport. Like I got there ten minutes before her, mm-hmm. and. She was like, all right, look at the boarding pass. And I looked and said Nassau. And I'm like, it took me like a millisecond to process. I was like, oh, that's the Bahamas. (laughs) And my reaction was, I told you it was the Bahamas. She goes, well, I already knew. I had to lie. Oh, my It was like, I didn't think about the Bahamas until it was fresh in my head when I told you the story about the pigs. Yes. Or Pig Island. And so like, I haven't thought about the Bahamas since the first week that she had booked the trip um until that story and so it was fresh in my head then and I was like see I told you so but I hadn't brought it up to her since because I thought it wasn't it wasn't the Bahamas um that is so exciting that you got to go there nice um you've never been there before no never been I've never had like a clear blue water experience either my god so it was just so nice the water was so warm the resort was really nice it looked amazing Um, all your pictures I was like oh my god yeah it was beautiful our balcony looked right out over the sunset like it was just stunning oh my god um honestly like so grateful for Kateri and like planning that trip and making it happen we celebrated her 25th birthday too I can't believe she's 25 I know she's having like um what do they call them like landmark not landmark (laughs) like Um, a like a golden birthday not no golden. not golden um i know what you mean milestone milestone birthday okay. i guess like quarter of a century i always like to say that because it yeah. makes you sound so old that's but really crazy. 25 I yeah she's 25 i know it's insane um but happy birthday kateri <laughs> <laughs> um wait you zoe and kateri have pretty close birthdays i know it's All crazy of you. yeah and so we celebrated her birthday i guess both of our birthdays it was really nice like we had really good weather, except every day at between like three and four, it would drizzle okay. or like thunder and it, we would just like get out of the water and be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the temperature like there? It was like eighties. That's nice. Something like, yeah. Like it was so nice. Oh my um, God. We did, they had like a private Island that we could go to. We got massages on it. There was like a pool and a pool what? bar and a restaurant over there. It was like beyond amazing that's so um, nice it was like also my first all-inclusive experience which was fun too okay um we did oh when she booked the trip this is funny so when she booked the trip mm-hmm. she had to pick out or she had to like have the guest um license or passport and when she was doing it mm-hmm. I was busy. I think it was like busy season and I might have gone out to dinner with you after recording the podcast. Okay. And so like I was just like MIA and like I said last time she just kind of booked it Mm -hmm. and I think she was fed up with me saying oh like in a week whatever yeah. yeah. And so when she booked it she just put in her sister Kiki stuff and her her full name is Kimberly. Okay. And so when we got there like we the our room came with three butlers what (laughs) butlers literally they were like okay like we want to make sure that you like have all of your dinner spots planned out if it's a place that needs reservations we'll get that sorted for you so we wrote down like they had an itinerary like you could plan out your entire day if you wanted um of your entire trip 
for us and it said Kateri and Kimberly Martin <laughs> and it was so funny because I, I was then being called Kimberly the entire time even though she switched it to my name in the system really they like didn't get it oh my god um and so I was being called Kimberly the entire time and I think at first that like the first butler we were we were saying where we wanted to eat for dinner each night mm-hmm. when we first got there and she hesitated for what felt like a long time. Really? Because on our, I think on, yeah, on our birthday night, we, our birthday night means July 15th because okay. it's the middle of both of our birthdays. <laughs> so, um, so hers is July 20th? Yeah. Okay. So we were saying on our birthday night, we wanted to do like a beach dinner. Mm-hmm. And typically that's more romantic, I guess you could say, because they have it like candlelit and all that. Yeah. And we just like nice things and nice experiences and we were like oh yeah like we want to do the dinner on the beach because how fun would that be you're only in the bahamas how many times in your life doing dinner on the beach like i don't know not much not many um and so we were like let's do that and then um she was like oh you want to do the candlelit dinner and we were like no just dinner on the beach is Mm -hmm. fine yeah she was like oh and she like hesitated and i was like what? what? And I'm like, Kateri, maybe they think we're together. <laughs> maybe they think we're a couple. That is so funny. Yeah. And so finally, like the third butler that we had met, she's taking us to the dinner and she's like, so are you two sisters? We're like, oh yeah, we're sisters. Because <laughs> we get it all the time anyway. Yeah. yeah. And so... It was so funny. And also, I feel like places there, you know how like when they come in and make your bed, mm-hmm. they like put the towel animals. Yes. And, like, the rose petals. Ever- we had rose Chocolates petals in and- our room when we got there. What? And Katiri was like, what the F is this? Like, and cleaned it all up. Um, but when we were like, there was one day that they did it and then Katiri cleaned it up right after. It was really cute, though. Like, it was yeah. the little swans. It looked so adorable <laughs> in a heart shape. And then flower petals in a heart around it. Um and then, like, the next day, it wasn't there. We were like, oh. Or I was like, oh, it was so fun to see. <laughs> yeah. Because when we used to go to Disney as a family when we were younger and we stayed at the Polynesian Resort, they would always do it there. Yeah. And I thought it was the coolest I, thing. I love that. That yeah. reminds me of all my, like, family vacations yeah, and like, everything. Yeah, like, it's so fun. Yeah. To come home and see what animals they make anyway. <laughs> um, it was a really good time. We had fun. We made friends with the party pool there was like a quiet pool side and a party pool side with the party pool bartender like fun. followed him on tiktok and everything he was super <laughs> funny um was it like a big party scene there no or? Okay. so this one was adults only um which i guess like lures in a more like calmer Relaxed. crowd i guess yeah. you could say that's nice um, though a nice it, like, there were a relaxed. lot of like old couples oh, really? or like honeymoon couples like people who just got married and they're on their honeymoon. Um, there were a few friends there and then there were a couple mother daughter duos. Okay. Um, but we were like the two youngest there. I mean, that's nice though. Just to have like a relaxing yeah. trip. Oh my gosh. We got massages on the Island. It was so nice. That is so nice. Um, I had a male masseuse for the first time. Oh my gosh. I've never <laughs> had a male masseuse. I was like, because they were like, oh, there's um, the time that you want to go on the island. There's only a male masseuse. Like one of you would have to be okay with a male masseuse. And Kateri looked at me when she was on the phone and I was like, I don't care. Like I'll take it. Yeah. Because she's a little bit more modest than me. And yeah. like not that that has anything to do with modesty. Like you're not, I don't know. I was just like, I don't care. Yeah. And he showed up and he was this big man. Oh no. And when he walked up to us. <laughs> Kateri and I, when we talked about afterward, our first instinct was like, oh, God. Oh, no. But he was the, like, most gentle, kindest soul okay. ever. It was totally fine. Um, it did, like, um, get me at one point. He, like, whispered in my ear at first. He was like, can I take off your necklaces? Like, my head is face down in the thing. At the very beginning, he was like, may I take off your necklaces? <laughs> I'm like. Not the ASMR. I know. <laughs> right? I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yes it's okay (laughs) and then um he was like how is it feeling like the pressure whatever (laughs) yeah and then he was like okay the back portion is over now you may turn over i was like okay this is just weird like yeah don't Don't whisper whisper. in my ear (laughs) yeah (laughs) just speak normally um 
But everything was amazing. We had such That's a good time. so nice. Um, was the water like warm? It was warm. Oh, yeah. Nice. It was so nice. And there weren't too many waves, which I like to play in the waves. I Did you see lie. the pigs? No. What? She didn't want to. That's what she was saying. Oh, like, she oh. She didn't want to. Yeah. What the heck? Kateri is so like uh, no pig type girl. Okay. Um, she like hates anything that might be remotely icky. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. And, but I don't know, it was like a great trip. That's so yeah. fun. Did you feel like it was like fast? It, okay. The good thing was that the first day we got there, we basically got the whole day. The whole like day. we got That's, in at, like, That makes a difference. Like we were at the resort and like in our bathing suits by noon. Oh my God. So it was totally fine. Yeah. That's nice. Um, and then the day we left, we got to spend like the morning in, at the beach. Okay. So, it went it like nice. it felt fine we yeah. didn't need to be there too much longer it would have been nice to have like one more day but like mm-hmm. i was totally good with That's the time so we were there nice yeah. i'm so glad you guys had such a good time yeah. it and looked amazing yeah and i was like dying to hear oh about my gosh. it before it was so the pod <laughs> okay i can tell you like a little funny story oh when i was getting when we were getting the massages it was you know like the cabanas that like overlook the water yeah. when you're getting them. It was in one of those, but they didn't have the sides down because it was windy. Mm-hmm. So like anyone could see you. Te- thank God like the massage area was like kind of secluded from the rest of the island. Mm-hmm. But there was another masseuse giving like a woman a massage across from us. And again, Kateri's more modest. So I like helped her get in her thing first mm-hmm. in her massage bed first like to make sure she wasn't you know freaking out whatever (laughs) (laughs) like even like when we lived together like she would go in the bathroom and change or like she would like turn around and change type of deal I think with dance you're more just comfortable oh yeah just being in front of people and so I was like okay and her massage bed was like the sheet was being held down by one of those massage rocks Mm -hmm. mine I didn't realize was tied fully in a knot like underneath the headrest okay. thing. So I'm like butt naked. Mm-hmm. Like literally like full nothing. Of, like nothing. <laughs> and I'm trying to untie this thing. I'm like, Kateri, oh my God, she's cracking up. <laughs> it like because we're like dumb and dumber. Like when we're together, <laughs> we're dumb and dumber. That's and so she fun. is cracking up. The massage lady comes running over. I see her spring. She's like, Are you trying to get us in trouble? You can't be naked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, get oh, underneath no. the sheet. Oh, like, no. Helping me out. At this point, I already had it untied. Like, yeah. the issue was already resolved. Oh, but my I'm God. Like, I don't want to be naked either. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be naked out in the open, letting everyone see me. But I was just like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> that what is am I going to so do? so funny. Oh, my God. But. And then when we had, like, the woman masseuse, when we were done, helped us get dressed. And mm-hmm. Kateri's bathing suit was, like, tie up top and bottom, so she needed help putting it on. Okay. And the lady was going to help Kateri first, like, hold up the sheet. And she was like, oh, no. Hold up the sheet for her first. Like, I need her help putting my bathing <laughs> suit on. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah. I thought it was oh yeah um, done recording. Anyway. It looks bright. Right? I think it's fine, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but... It was a great trip. That is yeah. so funny, though. That story. So you were, like, just butt-ass naked in yeah. front of everybody. Yeah. I but mean, like, nobody saw. nobody was really Like, nobody was really there. Whatever. Other than, like, that the male so receptionist. Funny. Like, you receptionist. Know, I've only gotten a massage once. Really? And it was, like, last last year. Aaron and I went. Yeah. Um, when did... She got it for my birthday. Mm-hmm. She got me like a massage thing. Mm-hmm. And then we both went to this woman that she liked that she went to first. Yeah. Um, so then we both just like went and then we went like one at a time to the same woman. And it was like interesting because I had never gotten one yeah. before. So I was like, I was nervous. I, was, yeah. I felt like I was like scared, but it, it ended up being it's so, so nice. nice. Like, yeah. and I feel like now as a nurse, I would like, it would feel even nicer just to relieve yeah. all that like tension of, mm-hmm. in your like feet, especially yeah. um, being on your feet all day and everything. But oh my God, we have to do that. We next. should do that. Yes. Yeah. That should we be should on check our- out one of the um, Baltimore spots. Yes. Duh! Maybe this weekend. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, we have too many plans. No, we have weekend. so many plans. Yeah. 
but it was really fun. And then when I got home, it was my dad's 60th birthday. Oh my god! So gosh. we got to celebrate with the fam. That's big. Did, yeah, like steak dinner. Milestone. <laughs> another milestone birthday. He was like, he picked me up from the airport and that was the day before his birthday. I'm like, you're turning 60. <laughs> He's like, I'm still 59. I'm not 60 yet. Like it is not here. He was just so like i'm not 60 yet that's and so then he's funny. finally accepted it like <laughs> after this week he has accepted it so oh my gosh yeah. happy birthday and i know so many good birthdays <laughs> that's fun so what yeah. that so you did that with your fam yeah. that's nice and then um my older brother comes home next weekend and we'll do like an another little celebration fun for him. Yeah. okay so that's why you're going home then yeah okay and my younger like youngest cousin actually just graduated high school so we're doing like a graduation Grad dinner because her my uncle's family also lives in jersey so it's gonna okay. be like a mix all the that's dinner. so fun yeah. oh yeah, my it'll be god good. i love that yeah, yeah. Wow. how was your week it was good <laughs> i what did i do i got my tattoo i it looks so it's, i'm obsessed it's like it looks so it good. was such a good experience wait so too. now you can tell them what it is yes oh yeah, yeah yeah okay so basically i got the word sunshine in cursive um because my papa my mom's dad mm-hmm. who i was very close with he passed away when i was maybe nine or, i think i was nine mm-hmm. or ten um and i was really close with him because every day after school i would go to my grandparents house um until my parents got out of work we never had a babysitter or any a Mm -hmm. nanny like nothing it was just like my parents and my grandparents and we lived like two minutes from them so i was very close with them growing up with them um and he would sing this song to me and it is a real song um i looked it up the other day it's called i think it's called my mammy Okay. But it's instead of mammy, you would say my Lauren. Okay. So it goes, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> I'm not going to sing. <laughs> it goes, the sun shines east, the sun shines west, but I know where the sun shines best. Lauren. Aww. And then he would say, I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles, my Lauren. Oh my so gosh. He would Wait, I'm always sing that. That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. So I always like, I remember that and I've wanted this tattoo for years. Yeah. And it's one of those things where with tattoos, everybody's like, make sure you want it yeah. for years. And it's been something I've been thinking about for literally mm-hmm. probably at least two to three years. Um, and I was like, I love it. And I found like the perfect font mm-hmm. cursive. Um, and then Alex found this girl who mm-hmm. the tattoo artist um, and she went to her like weeks before me loved her loved the place it's like the biggest tattoo shop in New Jersey oh, wow um, people literally from like Florida will drive to Jer- or go to Jersey for oh, like this gosh. place Snooki goes to this place like other <laughs> like so funny. other like kind of famous yeah. people go there um, it was so cute inside I have yeah. a video of it I'll show you um and then each like tattoo artist has their own separate like section like room little room and you can like decorate it and it was really cute she was very like she was very cute like very Mm -hmm. just like i think she's like in her late 20s this girl Mm -hmm. just calm chill like that's so nice like very just like down to earth like it made me nervous to get it i was nervous okay well i wasn't as nervous as like i honestly expected Mm -hmm. myself to be but i was still like i'm scared like my mom went with me and i don't know it it, you know there was a lot that went into it in the beginning where like there was just a lot of time before Mm -hmm. the tattoo like signing the paperwork and picking like the like font like making sure that's the right font and then she would put like a stencil yeah. on you but then like i wanted it a little higher and then i wanted it even a little so she had to keep mm-hmm. like moving because <laughs> you know you have to love it yeah. it's a tattoo um and so like it took a while until she actually started doing it but she said that because it was like a fine line just like one needle instead of like you know bigger ones that are like three needles mm-hmm. at once it was one and there's no shading but even but it was on my ribs yeah so i was like this i'm scared like um but she also said that the new guns that they have the tattoo guns are like 
very quiet and in the past they were super loud and that's almost part like of, what scares yeah. yeah it like tricks the brain i feel so like. it's almost better now that they're just like yeah. more quiet but yeah so then she started she said she was gonna do like a little she was like do you want me to do like a little test Mm -hmm. and see how it feels and then you can and i was like yeah and it literally was not bad okay that's good i swear like my i mean my nose piercing was faster but i feel like my nose piercing was i don't have it anymore but i you were like you had a nose i know (laughs) um i feel like it was more painful it was just it was super like scratchy like it almost just felt like something scratching your skin Mm. but it wasn't like oh my god like i I didn't even like tear up or anything like I was fine and mm, she might have been like actually doing the tattoo for like 20 minutes like Mm -hmm. not not even 30 like I don't know um but yeah it was it was a really good experience and then my mom and I got these bracelets from the place oh no way that's cute I was wondering where you got it from it's so cute they had all this jewelry and like they sell jewelry like shirts and like sweatshirts and it was really cute and it's this girl's sister's place she owns it her sister um very chill vibes like she she was like yeah I almost brought my kids today (laughs) and I was like oh um but yeah, I already want to go to her again. Oh but my gosh. The, her next available appointment is in like late November, December. Oh wow. Do you know yeah. what you want to get? No. So that's the thing. Like yeah. I'm not going to make an appointment until like I actually know. I mean, I know where I want another one. Where? But I don't know what. <laughs> I want one like back of my arm above mm-hmm. my elbow. Yeah. Um, But definitely don't know what I want. And my mom and I, we've said we want like a matching mm-hmm. one. Or, like, a mother-daughter. Maybe probably matching. Mm. But um, we were like, we'll totally go to her. Like, because it was so cute. Like, yeah. I feel like, because my mom and my grandma and then my aunt, like, Miss Barker, mm-hmm. the three of them were going to get matching ones, like, a couple years ago. Oh, wow. And my grandma went to her dermatologist to ask if she could get one. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, you can get one. And they ne- never ended up doing it just like a big part of that was because they just didn't find a place and whatever yeah and my mom was like yeah i always pictured like this like big tattooed guy doing it but like this girl was so sweet yeah. it, was, it was just like very chill so i feel like the three of them might mm-hmm. rethink that and, and do it yeah. maybe i don't that's know that's so fun um but yeah that was like so much fun and then what else did i do wait what was mom's reaction oh she she loved it she yeah. was like that is so thoughtful. She, Cause I told uh-huh. her like, Oh, it's a surprise. Cause she kept asking, what is it? And I was like, it's a surprise, like whatever. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, all right. Like, and then I got home and I showed her and she was like, Oh my, and I said the story with the song and she totally like remembers the yeah. song. Like she, she was like, that's so thoughtful. Like she Aww, loved it. She loved so it. And she kept telling me like, I love it. Like Aww. I really like the tattoo yeah. and it's, uh, like she was she loved it yeah and like i was really happy about it good but it yeah. looks really good it was just it really wasn't even bad too yeah. i was so shocked yeah that's yeah. amazing i love know it. love it <laughs> love it love it yeah what else did i do i don't even know you i work. worked a bunch yeah um yeah that's pretty much it work yeah work's just been busy but i get a practicum student i get like a nursing student who's in their last semester um starting next week do you know where she goes to school i think howard county somewhere in howard county um but yeah she'll be with me for like a hundred hours oh wow so it's gonna be like a lot but i'm excited because i do the like the students do full shifts yeah oh wow so and this is like you know, like you have your clinicals throughout nursing school, which are like with groups of people. But then your last semester, you have your practicum mm-hmm. or we called it at UD, like preceptorship, mm-hmm. where you're just with one nurse. Like you're not with like a group and a clinical instructor, it's just you and a nurse. And you follow that same nurse for like however many yeah. hours. And because you're about to graduate, like you're doing everything. So like this is like she's going to graduate mm-hmm. like pretty much right after she has these hours oh with gosh. me. So I'm going to have to like really have her do everything. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be with her the whole time. And in the beginning, I'll probably be doing more showing her more because, mm-hmm. you know, it's going to be yeah. a new unit to her and everything. She's not going to know where anything is and just 
she'll probably be following me more a little in the beginning, but then hopefully by the end she'll be pretty independent. I mean, yeah. I'll still be like staring at her. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but that's good. I'm excited because I feel like one of the things that I've really been thinking about going to grad school for is nursing education. Mm-hmm. So this will give me a taste of what it's like, like teaching yeah. and everything. Yeah. So I'm excited. That's awesome. That'll yeah. be good. It's a good experience. I also yeah. feel like it kind of tests like the knowledge you have. Definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it, nice. Like, yeah. It keeps you grounded too. Cause you have to like, I don't know. I feel like when work gets stressful, but like mm-hmm. you can kind of just like be stressed and running around. But like when I've had nursing students with me in the past, like, I've never had like a practicum student with me for that many hours, mm-hmm. but just for like the day or whatever, you just have to like, you're the, you have to explain everything you're doing. Yeah. So it just, it helps you just kind of stay yeah. like Zen yeah. <laughs> in a good, way. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Let's get into the topic. So we're going to talk about Our all little- things. Sorry. <laughs> I totally cut you off. <laughs> it's okay. Why do I always do that? No, I do it too. That's I do funny. it too. Um, um, <laughs> all things traveling, travel, travel guide, tips. travel tips. Um, it's great because you just got back from the Bahamas. Yeah. You I'm just going, planned a trip to Aruba. Yeah. And you're going to New Orleans and Canada. Yeah. There's a lot so coming there's up. There's a lot of traveling I this summer. I noticed that I travel so much like so frequently throughout the year that this year I went to Utah in January and then I haven't traveled since the Bahamas and I was getting such an itch to go somewhere Uh before the Bahamas. And because I didn't know where I was going, I couldn't look forward to a a destination. I could look forward to like getting on a plane and going somewhere, but I was like, I need to go. Yeah. Like it makes me go crazy. Yeah. I like hadn't like, I had traveled a little growing up, like, Definitely around the, like, United States a mm-hmm. little bit. I went to Jamaica when I was, like, 16. And, yeah. Um, like, Mexico and um, Puerto Rico, all mm-hmm. those places. But I feel like in the past couple of years, I've definitely learned just, like, how to travel better. Yeah. because Or just how to travel. Because um, I've only flown once. I mean, alone. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. That... I meant to say alone yeah. once. <laughs> I've flown multiple times. Yeah. I've only flown alone once. Um, and that was to Tampa for mm-hmm. my cousin's wedding because I had got COVID right before it. Oh, yeah. And this was in uh, March of 2022. Yeah. March of 2022. I got COVID like right before it. And my last like quarantine day mm-hmm. was like the day that my family was flying there. And they were like, we ended up just having them still fly that day. And then I flew the mm-hmm. next day by myself, but like flying is not that scary anymore. It's not. Once you do it, you're just well, like, I know how to do it. Like, it's just easy. I feel like, I mean, it's my, scary, it's, but, but it's, going through yeah. the airport and the process of like getting on the plane is not as hard as when I was yeah. younger. And I was like, oh my God, security. And then, yeah. and then you have to go through and find your gate yeah. and like all of that. So I feel like my travel has been 60, 40 traveling with people versus traveling without people, okay. like traveling solo and only on the plane solo. Like I'm typically meeting someone somewhere or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But like I travel alone by myself a lot and it, mm-hmm. it made me realize that I like to get to the airport way later than anyone else. Like I oh, am really? pushing the time. How much, how much earlier do like, you, or how much later do you Like get I'll there? be late. Not late, like not like I'm missing my flight, but like the flight might be boarding as I'm walking up to the gate. Oh God! Like, yeah, <laughs> like I, I don't, I just hate sitting in the airport. It's a waste of time. Well, it also depends on which where you're going. Because yeah, if you're flying out of Philly or Newark, it's yeah. crazy. Mm-hmm. Honestly, flying out of LaGuardia is amazing. Really, it's also wait. I'm doing that for Canada. You are. It's my, because First time, I think, out of LaGuardia. I've only been out of LaGuardia twice, and they've, like, also, like, recently, yeah. like, redecorated it. Like, it's, okay. it's actually, like, yeah. really nice. But um, it is so, like, you would think, because it's, like, New York. Like, yeah. But it, both times were so smooth and so fast. That's good. Way faster than, like, Newark mm-hmm. or, like, Philly or whatever. Um, um, yeah, I don't know. LaGuardia yeah. is, like, it's, it's nice. I feel like it's a hassle to get to. 
it definitely is it depends like sometimes it'll take you like when we went to charleston we flew out of laguardia because like that the airline we were taking i don't know it just Mm -hmm. worked out better um and we did the same thing for jacksonville for charleston it was like we got there pretty easily but then when we were going to jacksonville my dad was dropping us off at laguardia it took us through new york city yeah and we were like like through the city and we were like oh my god this was not smart like it didn't do that the first time um but so like if you're going to a place where it's going to be quick like when we flew home from charleston my cousin who lives there and then my like uncle who her dad who has visited they were like you do not need to get to the charleston airport two hours before it's so small and then what did my mom and i do still get there two hours before and we were just we were so early waiting it was so bad but i don't know i feel like there's so many travel tips that i've learned recently yeah like same one of them being check the passport rules and entry rules if you're leaving the country to another going to another destination i know so many people who have been denied access to like a european country like under the european union i guess you your passport can't expire like three months after you leave or oh, okay. after you enter or something did not like that. know that so like Get a new passport. Like, yeah. always have one on hand that's not expiring. Also, definitely soon. do it with enough time. Yeah. Like, I, for Aruba, I had to expedite it. Did you get it? Not yet. But they said, fingers crossed. Yeah. They said the latest I would get it was, like, a week before the trip. I'm pretty sure that was the latest I okay. would get it. So, like, I'm literally, like, looking out for that. Yeah. <laughs> um. But definitely, even with me, like, I thought I had enough time, obviously didn't, especially now. Yeah. It, like, it used to be a lot faster, but now things are crazy. So, like, it, it everyone takes I time. feel like is trying to get one. I think one of the good things is just always have a passport. Yeah. You never know when you're going to yeah, get up Yeah, that's the thing. Like, mine had been expired, and I, I like, just, I should have just yeah. renewed it, like, then, but I never did. Yeah. Um, like, don't wait till the moment you're booking a trip. Yeah. Just get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, just, like, another thing to, like, note is that certain countries have, like, certain things you have to fill out to go. Mm-hmm. Like, Aruba has their own, like, Aruba thing that I have to yeah. fill out, but you can't do it until, like, a week before. Yeah. So just, like, knowing that there could be little extra steps that you don't think about normally. Yeah. Um, oh, also, another thing, this is for, like, international travel. Mm-hmm. If you don't have global entry, one of the other good things to get, this is totally free. It's an app on your phone. It's called Mobile Passport Control. And when you're going through customs, you don't have to wait in a line. You and Alex should get it. Oh, my gosh. It cut our time in half going through the airport. Yeah. What? It's basically an app that, like, pre-clears you through customs. You answer the questions. And you just scan your passport. It was the easiest setup in the world. I scanned my passport. Like, it didn't even take long to load. It was, like, scan. Boop. Done. Oh, my God. (laughs) And then um, answered, like, six questions or something like that. And then... That's nice. We went up to the um, customs lady and she was like, what's your name? Can I see your QR code? Okay, you're good to go. Like, I had no questions asked to me. So Amazing. that's a good thing to get. Also, if you do travel a lot, like TSA pre-check. pre-check is nice. I don't have that. But like, yeah. if I were to be traveling like a lot, I would get that. Yeah. Um, I still want it. <laughs> it's good to have. I don't think it's that expensive. It's $75. Like... I think How, for three years. A year? Oh, I think. three years. Damn. Yeah. See, that's not even bad. Yeah. yeah. I think it's three years. <laughs> also, just when you are going somewhere with like a layover or it's a long mm-hmm. travel day, just make sure you're like prepared. Just yeah. like have your um, neck pillow. A book. Have a book. Headphones. Always have snacks, yeah. water. Oh, well, you have to buy water because you can't have it through security. But, like... But have it. Just <laughs> because it. it's... Like, when I traveled to Hawaii, it was, like, a whole day of traveling. Mm-hmm. And that took it out... Because I had never traveled that yeah. long before. Yeah. Um, and it was definitely an experience. I mean, it wasn't bad, but the traveling, it just it's a long time mm-hmm. sometimes. And you're just, like, stuck in an airport yeah. in a layover forever. Um, but, yeah trying to think also people all have been doing the like 
um, trackers on their luggage. Oh, yeah. That's I don't been do a that. Thing. But well, when we go to Canada, I think we're going to check bags just because half the trip is like part of a concert mm-hmm. and like more cutesy outfits. The other half is like hiking and things. So, OK, it, nothing's going to fit into a carry on. Yeah. For the two separate things and like can't really rewear a lot of what you're wearing because they're just opposites right and um so we were i was like i think we should do the air tags because what happens if yeah we lose our luggage and it's only an hour and a half late from new york really yeah i mean it makes sense it's like right so there close. But it's a six hour drive i was that's like, such a close drive yeah. i want to go <laughs> it's gonna be so fun we should go yeah we should, we should go. um yeah i we're definitely checking bags for yeah but just because alex and i we overpack yeah. all the time oh even to the bahamas i overpacked my suitcase i had i was like we're going for literally three nights and i was there in my bedroom at home the night before i'm like I told my dad, I was like, yeah. dad, I really might have to check a bag. Like, he's like, it's three nights. <laughs> I'm like, I can't fit my stuff. No, it's true. I got home and I was like bringing everything inside. He was helping me. He's like, what is all of this? I'm like, the stuff I need to bring. And it's in a suitcase, a back, two backpacks and um, a beach bag. And I had to condense it all into my little suitcase. Yeah. It's it's a lot. It was a lot. When you're a girl, you have to bring hair yeah. stuff and all of that and like makeup Everything. and all of it. Also, having like a big carry on or not a carry on, but like your personal bag. Like I used yeah. that Target tote. Oh, yeah. When I went to Jacksonville and I put it right under, under the nice. seat and it was yeah. perfect. Yeah. It was such a good size. But um, do you bring your computer with you? Um, I do sometimes. Like I... I won't for Aruba. Okay, yeah. Um, I didn't for Jacksonville. I more did it when I was in school. And yeah. I, I did bring it to Charleston because it was like right before my NCLEX mm-hmm. when we went last summer. But not usually. Yeah. No. Mm. Just because it's like extra. It's so extra. I yeah. hate bringing it, but for some reason I it always do. security yeah. and then all of that. Um, also... Just another, this is kind of all over the map, but another tip is like before you go to the airport, check in on the app because mm-hmm. you can just do that so easily. Oh, yeah. And then you can also pay for like your checked bags usually on these apps like before yeah. you go so that it's like a, like a little bit faster once mm-hmm. you get there. Um, this is like something when you said app that I thought of, always sign up for this app um or like for the account that the airlines have yeah like you may be flying it once for example like i was like oh we might fly air canada like why would i not get the points i may go to canada more often i don't know you never know you may fly on air canada more so like i obviously am signed up for like delta united american i think i have frontier i haven't flown frontier in forever um all of them yeah. and you just gain your points and miles and then you can use it to buy a flight at one point yeah um but it's always worth it getting those and then if you really do travel a lot look into the credit cards because they're so worth it i bet yeah yeah um, you'll build up a lot of miles, credits yeah and yeah. so i don't know there's so many different little travel tips and tricks yeah and you were saying like um i forget what you were saying earlier but it made me think of something with when it comes to like being comfortable with traveling Mm -hmm. something that my parents did when we were young so Mm -hmm. if you're a parent like you should probably try and do this if you can or feel comfortable with it like when we were in middle school they would send each of us on a trip by ourselves to like go visit a family member or something that's smart and so we would fly alone so we would be an unaccompanied minor on a flight and it gets us comfortable with flying because you have to be alone yeah um and you just kind of like learn the ropes on your own. Yeah. So like that was kind of nice. And it, I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things that like I didn't have to worry about flying after that. I knew what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. The first time I flew alone was like last year. Yeah. So I was and, like, literally like dad, 21. Right. My dad was like texting me on my iPhone 5 being like or calling me he waited at the airport (laughs) i think hey did you make it to your gate do you know where you're going and he obviously could see where my gate was and it switched from before and i was like yeah i'm here but the flight says it's going to hong kong oh he's like no he's like oh no you know how to find where you're going right i'm like yeah i'm looking on the 
Um, How old were you? I was in like middle school. Oh my God. Yeah. And I was like, I'm looking. That's on the so thing. young. I don't know. I was like, I'm trying to find my flight number, but I can't see it. And he was like, you'll find it. Just wait. And I waited and it showed up and I was like two gates down. Oh my it didn't gosh. matter. And then really funny that flight I was in the middle. I was going to California and that flight I was in the middle seat and I was in between two really chubby guys. I think they, they would look like brothers. They uh-huh. were older too. And they were Damn. stinky. <gasps> like they saw, they smelled like they were flying for two days. Oh, no. <laughs> and they no. were s- asleep the entire time snoring. Oh, no. Not middle yeah. school you. Like, I know. I was like, sitting there. Like, 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 where's my movie? <laughs> <laughs> it was fun, though. Another little tip I have, like, now that I have adult money and can spend my, like, I'm buying my own flights and whatnot, um, if you're going to upgrade your seat or like sit in the nicer seat, mm-hmm. I always do it on the way home. Okay. Because I feel like on the way there, you're super excited. And then on the way home, you're like tired and yeah. you want like more room to sleep or something. Yeah. Like, that makes always sense. Always do it. Or if you're going on a red eye, upgrade your seat then. Oh, like yeah. just take the extra room or you can suck it up. I don't know. But if you yeah. have the ability to do it, do it. Yeah. Like it makes all the difference in for sure. comfortability and traveling. Also, before you go f- leave for your flight, just weigh your suitcase on a scale at home if you yeah. have one. Yeah. <laughs> just so you're not well, struggling at the airport. They have the ones that like Oh luggage, yeah. yeah, which yeah. we use. Oh yeah, yeah, we don't have those. Yeah. We were just using a regular one, but like it works yeah. if you just tilt it and yeah. put it on the scale. Yeah. Um, um I once this was so bad. I was so mad. It was on American Airlines. It makes me hate them so much. <laughs> but I was over by half a pound. And she was like, that'll be $130. <gasps> and I was like, it's half a pound. Now, I packed this suitcase so horribly that I was like, there's no way I'm even opening this. Oh, no. I unfortunately That's paid so that $130. And I was so mad at that woman. I yelled at her. Oh my god i was like a half a pound like i could lose half a pound in a second by just going pee and doing a few <laughs> jumping jacks like are you kidding me yeah that's crazy <laughs> you're so mad i was so mad <laughs> that is so it annoying really, really though not, but i was not opening that i was refusing to open it it was packed so poorly i was in yeah. such a rush it was on the way home from somewhere oh my god um always have a jacket with you too or like a sweatshirt oh yeah that's freezing on the plane yeah. there was another time that my suitcase was over by one and a half pounds no actually it was like three pounds and i was like okay and i took the tiniest little i call them my fashion jackets it was one of my like cute jackets <laughs> not um, a jacket for actual warmth <laughs> yeah no it was just like a cutesy little fashiony thing and i pull it out and i'm like this will do. She goes, that's not enough weight. And I put it back on the scale and it was like 48 pounds. Oh my God. She was like, oh, okay. She gave me such an attitude for only pulling out one thing. The hell? <laughs> I was like, you're like, yeah, I know it weighs. I know it, it was like a heavy jacket. So I, it, it has no, it looks like it has no weight to it, but the yeah. material was heavy and I okay. knew it because I would sweat in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think also just like for the actual whatever trip you're going on just pack things that like if there's something you're like "Mm, I probably don't like need it but I would like it just probably leave it at home yeah but then again like like this is an example though that where I where I did bring it I have this like face wash that I literally always use Mm -hmm. I will I hate using any other thing on my face just because Then I'll start breaking out if I use anything else. And so, like, I'll bring that and stuff. Like, like I'll I'll kind of pick Mm -hmm. pick and choose what's, like, completely necessary and then what, you know, you might actually not need. But then again, that's coming from someone who overpacks. So I don't know how how good that is. My mom hates that I overpack. It's so hard not to. Yeah. I literally brought jeans to Jacksonville and it was so hot. I didn't wear jeans. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you going to wear jeans in that heat for? No. 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 Like, I, and I brought, like, so many bathing suits. Oh. For no reason. I literally brought, like, six <laughs> for three nights. And I only didn't wear one. 
And that's oh. because we didn't do the sunrise swim that we thought we were going to do because it was cloudy. Oh, so you did wear a bunch. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Do you have any other tips? I'm trying to think like of like after airport. Um, Some people have tips of, I've never ha- experienced this, but using like compression socks on mm. planes. Um, it just helps with... Um, like, inflation and things like that oh, some people get like really inflated or bloated on planes i've never had experienced no. that also just chewing gum with yes. you know take off and or landing. when you're younger the lollipops yeah oh my God. wait lollipops yes my mom would bring a bag of dumb dumb lollipops on the plane when we were younger like we had this huge gallon size bag she would bring what? it on the plane and she would like share it with all the kids wait like just be, like because like when you're sucking on the lollipop oh it helps with okay the, um when your ears ears. pop i remember that my ears used to pop so bad as a kid i would cry and scream there's this story of when i was so we were i was like three and we were going to louisiana to visit ma's family my grandma's family and i was so i was just crying and yeah and so upset and my mom said everybody around was just like oh and then i kept screaming because my ear was hurting yeah. so bad i kept screaming i need a band-aid i need a band-aid <laughs> and then th- th- my mom always does it now she's like i need a band-aid that is so um, funny but then they took me to the doctor while i was in louisiana and i actually had an ear infection oh so it was the ear infection yeah. and the plane probably making it yeah hurt. like really bad yeah um that's kind of funny though yeah <laughs> no we always actually we always do it pain. now we're like i need a bandy because yeah. it's like it's yeah. just funny yeah it wouldn't, wouldn't be a bandy exactly <laughs> um well when i sat like there was one time on a plane because we're five in the family so mm-hmm. it would be like three and it was me and Robbie together and my parents and Matt together. And I was sitting in the middle seat next to a stranger. And it was the first time I remember that I didn't scream. Because I was like, I have to suck it up. I'm sitting next to a stranger. <laughs> and I didn't scream or cry. That's funny. And I think it's the funniest. Like, what is wrong with me? I have to that sit next to a stranger. So I was literally just acting it out this whole time. <laughs> that is so funny. Anyway, so oh drama. Oh my gosh. Yeah, with my with my family, my dad being in the wheelchair they mm-hmm. put you in like this like skinny wheelchair that goes down the mm-hmm. aisle mm-hmm. so we would always have to get on first and then get off last oh yeah so like you literally have to wait for everybody to get off yeah. and then we would get off but um oh my gosh a funny story this isn't like a travel tip but just a funny story from like the airport yeah. i don't know i think my mom and i might have told you about this the tres quesos <laughs> the dogs and the cats. oh yes yes so we were we were flying to charleston last year and we were in laguardia and my mom and i were in the bathroom and we heard this like woman like c- like consoling this like it sounded like what was a baby um like oh it's okay it's okay in the stall and we were like what and then she comes out with the tiniest little brown fluffy dog Aww. like so cute like so small like mm-hmm. a puppy yeah and oh my god it was so cute and we started talking to her we were like your dog's so cute and she was like his name is manchego <laughs> and then there's gouda and then mozzarella i think that so, is and then so funny it, like two of them are dogs and then a cat and they have an instagram account that is so funny the tres quesos i love it <laughs> But we loved that woman. But, like, yeah. it's just funny. You just, like, see things like that in the airport, oh my God, too. There's so many different people. Or your airport crush. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Actually, I haven't had that. But I was just thinking, because this did come up on my phone recently, I did have a really big subway crush in New York really? when I was literally 14. <laughs> Me and Zoe went to New York City on our own, and we're dressed, like, in little short shorts and crop yeah. tops. I don't. I looked young, and I have a picture of this man on the subway. Keep in mind, Zoe and I get on the subway going in the complete wrong direction outside oh, of Manhattan. No. We are going the wrong way. Oh no! And I forget. She'll know where we ended up. I think it was like Queens or something. And we have to turn around. But this man was gorgeous. Like maybe the only white man that I've been like about. <laughs> like I was like wow, and I snapped a picture of him and he's looking at the photo and i still have it on my phone 
Oh my god, I have to see Almost this. Almost 10 years later. That's so funny. I have to find it and show you. But it just came up recently. I should have yeah. like saved, put in my favorites or something. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah, but everybody talks about the airport crush. I feel like I've, I've definitely never had seen it. cute guys at the airport, but never anybody that I was like, oh my god. Oh wait, actually I did. I saw cute guys going to Cancun once. I was in California, but they kind of looked a little douchey yeah <laughs> i was like mm, aren't they always but like he, they were kind of cute it was like a, a good looking group of guys but i was like mm-hmm. eh. and they were our, like our age i was traveling alone again but yeah. yeah yeah i feel like i'm trying to think if i have any other tips do you um i feel I like know. we hit it yeah I think always be the calm person traveling. Yeah. Oh, I, don't be the one that gets worked up. <laughs> yeah. I'm, if you can. I'm usually like, I don't, traveling doesn't really yeah. cause me any anxiety. Um, like my brother and my dad, my older brother and my dad will be like, oh, on travel days and they're like the most relaxed and we're like, what is wrong with you? Like they get like worked up. Like, I don't know why. Well, I will be stressed if we're like running late yeah. to the airport or yeah. something, but like actually going on the plane and everything, mm-hmm. I'm okay. Um, just if we're on time. <laughs> My one friend had really bad plane plane anxiety. Really during like takeoff and That's landing terrible. and turbulence. It was so I felt so bad for her. That's scary. Like we were on the plane and she was just like they, couldn't control it. They say though planes are safer than cars. <laughs> I know, but she really couldn't control it. So it makes me see a different perspective of what it's like to travel because on a plane I'm fine like as a kid I'd be like turbulence is a roller coaster <laughs> and I I'm like bring it. me the snacks right? and then I'm like, just sitting watching my movie yeah like it was so fun to me because Robbie <laughs> when he was in his like techno phase there's a song that's like we hit turbulence and then the beat drops and it's like dun, dun, dun. Mm-hmm. you know that song mm-hmm. He used to play it in his headphones with me, and we would listen to it whenever turbulence would hit. No, like it was so fun. No, we would have a dance so party. Funny. And so, like, I always thought turbulence was so fun. Oh no! And so now, when it happens, and I'm alone, if it's really scary, I'm like, Whoop! but like, I'm like, okay, we hit turbulence, like, dur, dur, dur. yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it's. Funny. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, and just definitely. Have all your stuff packed and just kind of calm mm-hmm. yourself down the night before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get a good night's sleep. And yeah. yeah. Just prep yourself well. We'll probably have more tips after we travel more I this know. summer. We can <laughs> pop it in if we enter our recaps. Yeah. Come up with anything good. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, can I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Yes. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, watch on youtube or apple Podcasts, spotify wherever you get your podcasts and have a good week and stay positive all right (laughs) cheers Cheers. (laughs) bye bye